Hey folks, Rob Bushway with GottaBeMobile.com here bringing you a special ink show on a very large computer. Uh, before we get started, I need to thank our sponsor, TechSmith, who makes all these ink shows possible. Uh, this is the Fujitsu N7010. We don't do a lot of ink shows on big devices. We mostly concentrate on ultra portables. But this is a unique system in that it has a secondary monitor right here. Um, I've got the uh, display settings up here, and I'm going to click on Identify, and you'll see we have one and two that it shows up. I'm going to show that to you again just to make sure that you got it. Identify monitors, there we go, one and two. Now, what that means is that I can drag applications down to this secondary monitor. I'm going to do some of that before we actually get into... Um, the launcher and the picture slideshow. So let's, I'm going to zoom in here just a minute. You'll have to excuse me on this. Uh, the only way really to, to do this video is to um, do a lot of camera work. So I'm going to be going, zooming in and out and going up and down a little bit. Alright, so I've got paint here. And keep an eye on the secondary monitor down here. I'm going to drag it down. There you go. And I'll double see the the mouse actually gets very small because it's a higher resolution screen. It's actually um, the secondary monitor is 960 by 544 which is very tiny in there. So now I can take my finger because it's a touch screen I can also paint in there. Unfortunately for some reason journal and um, the ink sticky notes do not allow you to, they don't pick up this, uh, this passive digitizer for some reason. Um, it's not recognized. But um, so we can drag some pictures, we can drag a document down there even. What's most useful though is it's a quick launcher. And I'm going to launch a couple things here so you can see it. Uh, come up on the main monitor, and then I'm going to zero in on this external screen here, or this secondary monitor. Um, we have calculator here. You can't see it, but you will in a minute. Um, that's one of the shortcuts that you can customize. So I can press calculator, and it will should launch here. There's the calendar calculator, we'll press Windows Explorer, we can launch um, Internet Explorer and browse the web. So we have all these little built-in shortcuts into this external monitor. There's also a, a nice uh, setting. I can press setting here, which I'll zoom in here in just a minute. And by pressing setting, it will then uh, launch this application to let you choose which apps you want in this launcher. Alright, so let's go ahead and zoom in on the screen itself. And show you a little bit about it. So here is the, the secondary screen. And The, all of the icons are they're big and they're easy to touch. We have a couple options here. We can click on the menu and then we can choose to work with a launcher or we can also launch um, a, a slideshow that will go through your pictures. Let me close this settings dialog box. We'll go through the pictures and it will do a slideshow. There's a picture that Warner did up, Tyra Banks, and we can have it automatically flip through it through various timing settings, or I can touch here and um, manually go through the pictures that I want, and I can also pause the slideshow as well. And by pressing the uh, setting option here, 
I can um, make some changes as to how the pictures display, whether they go full screen or what have you. Let me do that here. I'll press setting. And now let's zoom out a little bit and go up. And there's the screen that pops up that'll let you choose how you want the pictures to be displayed. All right, so now we're back to the to the secondary monitor here, the quick launcher. And now I can press this and go back to main. Actually, main displays the pictures up on the main screen, displays a slideshow on the main screen. We don't want that. I want to go to the menu and go back to Quick Launcher. And now I'm back at all the applications that I want to launch. So if you have certain websites that you visit a lot or applications that you frequently use, you can add these as shortcuts there. And now you just, as you're typing, you can just press that button and it'll launch on the screen. Or if you have a document that you don't want displayed on your big screen, you can then just drag it down um, to the secondary monitor like so. So I'll drag this web page and pull it down here and now I can view that web page in this secondary monitor. Very cool. And since it's touch, I have touch control over everything in that screen. So there you go. Just a quick look at the um, Fujitsu N7010 and the auxiliary display there. It's not a it's not your typical auxiliary display in that it's not a, a sideshow device. It's actually a, a, uh, a physical secondary screen. Um, thought you guys would get a kick out of seeing this. We're not going to take a look at anything more on this um, N7010. Uh, most of you are interested in ultra portables, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Well, this has been Rob Bushway with GotToBeMobile.com, bringing you a very quick ink show on the N7010 from Fujitsu, featuring a unique display built right into the laptop. You guys take care, and thanks again to our sponsor, TechSmith.